day four by Felicia. The Mercury. So far, we have put very little effort into this. We pulled it off of the dinghy and got it onto the mount here. This is designed to mount into the back of the boat while even while you're cruising. And it's very heavy. <laughs> Lisa and I hoisted it yesterday. Fuel prime ball, so spinning gasoline. The replacement here, just a $30 part. So you can see everything we have. We have a fuel cell the gasoline container that just sits in the bottom of the dinghy when we're driving around. It's connected by this line. I took everything from yesterday. This is still filled with bad fuel, so this does need to be replaced though. There, okay, so we have fresh, uh, non-ethanol gasoline. It's more expensive, it's harder to find, but non-ethanol gasoline is what you're gonna find on most, um, most fuel docks. And spark plugs. We'll drain this fuel line, We're going to drain the remnants of this gasoline that's been sitting in this bag. And so that gets dumped, fresh new fuel. Then we're going to put on fresh new spark plugs. We're gonna put in starting fluid. That's the good use. That makes it go from. Move the spark plugs. Go in this hole. Once the spark plug is there, this clips on top of it. That sends the electrical signal into the combustion chamber so that a explosion can happen. And that explosion can push a piston and that can in turn go to some gears that goes to this. So this is the actual explosion chamber. So we're going to spray the go juice in there. The spark plugs back into this reservoir, yeah, just like that. Then we're gonna connect this, just like this. And, uh, and then we're gonna drain these fuel lines and then we'll see if it starts. So one thing about spark plugs is there's a gap between the little knob here and then the top of this little guy. So there's a spacer, it looks like a coin, but it actually has a, a incline that grows and it has corresponding spacing with it. Inches one side, millimeters the other side. This is gonna be a one millimeter, so we're gonna space it, place it in between the post and the top wire. I'm sure that has a name, I don't know it. And then you just keep bringing it to a fatter and fatter opening until you get to the one you want. You want one millimeter. Okay, and roll it till we get to about one millimeter. Boom, love it. Starting fluid. So this is gonna get sprayed directly into the chambers that I showed you guys earlier. Spark plugs are on. Now I need the kill switch. All right, so we have gas, we have starting fluid, we have spark plugs, brand new spark plugs. We need a kill switch. Now you attach 
this to yourself in case you fall off the boat, it kills the engine because runaway dinghies do happen. I've seen it. All right. It's time. Now the engine is not in the water, so we can't let it run for more than one minute, two minutes. Uh, engines are cooled by using salt water to run over whatever. So we're just gonna make sure that it runs, maybe give it one or two revs in neutral. We're not putting it in gear so that the propeller's spinning around. <laughs> 